Hi guys, it's Andy here from Awesome 3D Prints with another, what can I say, Awesome 3D Print. And here it is. This is an Iris box of Thingiverse. And basically, uh, I just twist the bottom and it's still shut. These are fantastic, uh, fantastic things. I love printing place prints that you can just print without any assembly and they move straight off the build plate. I think they're just, they're one of my most fascinating things to print really. I love stuff like that. Now, as you can see, I've printed this in multicolor. I did it using the Cura settings change. So you can specify in Cura. You've probably seen him in one of my other videos, but if not, look in my videos, you'll find it. And you can set in your slicer at what point you want it to change the filament and change the color. So it'll get up to this layer, then Cura will stop the printer. The printer will spit out the filament. You put your new filament in, then it'll carry on printing. You can also set it to change the temperature as well as it goes. So it changes the temperature for each specific PLA. Um, but yeah, generally, that's printed really well. I love that. And because you've done different colours here, you've got different colours on the uh, on the roof as well. That's absolutely fantastic. I really like that. Anyway, I'll uh, show you guys it printing. I'll show you what I had to do to it after it finished printing. And then we'll go from there. Right then guys, here's the finished product. My daughter chose the colours, but it's just using up little bits of filament they had left really, so generally it's printed really well. There's a uh, little bit of string going on the inside, which you'd expect, but no, that's that's quite nice. So to, to finish it off, we need to cut these tabs on the bottom. Feel free to use whatever you like. I'm gonna use these because I can get in there with them. But do just cut through that one. Through that one, that one, that one. When you've cut the last tab, you'll actually feel the uh, the thing start to move. If it's all printed as it's supposed to, you'll feel it come a lot, lot loose almost straight away. That's it. You can see it moves straight away. The second you go through that last the last tab, it moves almost instantly. Once you've cut the uh, the tabs off you've got to pry at the sides so try and use something that's fairly sturdy but not gonna damage the the edge of the, the thing that's it that's all done so now get something flat plastic ideally if it's strong enough and then just pry up the sides to be honest I don't think I'm gonna have to do an awful lot to this one it feels really really loose already so I think actually it's printed fairly well Let's try and I think this one this 
so it's not moving properly. Just work it backwards and forwards until eventually you'll see. Hey, <laughs> look at that top, that's awesome. I love the way the pink and the red mix together. That looks fantastic. I'm getting a few stringy bits off from the bottom, which is which you'd expect to work loose anyway, so it's no biggie. Just tidy it up when you're done as well. But I absolutely love these iris boxes. They're, uh, it's the first time I've done a multicoloured one actually. A uh, good thing about this as well is I used the Cura to set the specific change points at specific intervals. So I did gold first, then I did pink, then I did the red. However, if you see my other video, once you take the change of filament, you can also take the change of temperature. Well, it, I print this bottom bit at 210 because that's silk PLA. It prints better at 210 than it does at the other stuff. I printed this one at 190. It might be 200 actually. But anyway. And I forgot to change the temperature when I went back onto the red. And if you see this band here, just above the pink, I don't know if you picked it up on camera, but it's actually a different colour to the rest of it, because at that point I spotted that I hadn't changed the temperature and changed it manually. And if you look how much shinier the uh, the silk PLA is at the higher temperature, that was at 200, this was at 215. Um, and it makes such a difference. So all you guys that say you don't need to do a temperature tower, a temperature tower serves more than just... A, as a guide for stringing or for stuff it gives you the best temperature to print out for your PLA but also it gives you the nicest finish if you get the temperature right as well especially with silk PLA it's not so important with non-silk PLA but it, uh, it definitely makes a big difference this was expensive I won't name the brand but it was expensive silk gold this was cheap as chips eBay uh, bog standard I think it was £10 for a kilogram roll of, of filament and this was silk PLA again but it, it was cheap off Amazon that was only I think about 12 or 14 quid for a roll of, of silk PLA, which is cheaper than this stuff, but not the cheapest, obviously. But generally, that's worked really, really well. So, yeah, if you guys feel like doing one, uh, I'll leave a link in the description so you can find it. If you liked my video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to see more, subscribe. And uh, you'll get all the, all the ones as soon as I release them. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Take care.